Hello and welcome back to my Java tutorial series on teaching you how to program your own dice roller. Now we actually finished just about everything else, just about everything up in the previous episode, and I'm just going to uh, go over how you would actually package and distribute it. We have to remember, um, just in case we made any other changes, which I hope you did, you know, just either for practice or if you're actually going to be using this dice roller. Before you actually start um, packaging it, you just want to make sure to give it one final run. One, to make sure, you know, it works the way you do. I want to do some bug tested, bug testing and the such. And two, you want it to com um, compile to all of your latest specs. So when we actually go into the um, compiled code, in order to package it, then we know it is what you programmed and what you want it to be. So now we're just waiting for it to start up. I just started up a clip, so it, it, you know the first time is always a bit longer than the other times. Here it is. It says dice roller on the top, and the GUI is just taking a bit to pop up. There's your GUI. We can flip a coin. We can roll a d20. We can clear it. We can roll a d6. Brought to you by you know my my pretty awesome textures. <laughs> And we can clear it, most importantly. And when we when we try to close it, it actually closes. Now we can actually um, get out of clips. Because we won't need it for the rest of the tutorial. What we can do is go into where I actually have this stuff. Uh, now when you go into your project folder, you then go into your bin. Your source is what you actually write. And that'll have all your um, dot javas, yeah, dot javas. And then if you go into your bin, that's where you find all of your uh, dot classes, which means it's compiled. Now, right next to your topmost packet, um, topmost package folder, which mine is BFS, which is actually you know a company, so you might not want to use that as a package. Header. You know, whenever you use your own package names, use your own package names. I use BFS because it's a company that I am yeah, programmer for. But in the top for in the top most area, you want to do meta inf all caps uh, just a look at it. Okay, and that of course stands for meta information, which is exactly what we'll be doing. And then you're gonna want to start up a. We're gonna make a text file, which I'm using text edit, which is you know my preferred text editor, especially since I'm on a Mac. And in here we're going to type first manifest hyphen version 1.0 new line. And then there are many different um, attributes that you can outline in a uh, in this um, file that we're making. But all we need is the main class, and that's in BFS dot dice roller dot main, not all caps. And then for this file, Java, you need to press enter one more time. You need to have a new line on here, exactly one on the end, or else it will not work. A bit strange, I know, but you need to, when you're done typing this, press enter so you know you have that extra line at the end. And then you want to save it, and what you want to save it as will be, of course, in the meta imp folder that we just created. But you want to name it manifest all caps dot mf. And I'm not saving this to the cloud, obviously, because it needs to be inside the jar. I'll be putting it into dice roller if it'll. Uh, into the Eclipse, into Dice Roller, into Bin, and into Meta Inf. So we'll use MF because that's what we need to do. And now you see inside of Meta Inf is now the manif manifest, which is what we need. Now, um, the following instructions may be specific to Mac. Um, either it can it will be extremely similar for Windows, or you might just have to Google. Um, exactly how to turn into packaging it, but for Mac, all we have to do is compress these two items, which um, you know we have that built into Macs and Windows. Might be able to use WinZip, WinZip, or um, WinRAR, WinRAR, WinRAR. That's what it's called, or PZip, or Seven Zip, or whatever. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna rename this Dice Roller 
dot jar. And there's a jar. Now, just to, you know, can, just so we know that, you know, there's no foul play going on here in that folder, I'll just drag this onto my desktop, and I'll double-click on it. I double-clicked on it. All in one neat jar file it pops up. The main class, the window starts up. The GUI will start up very shortly. Here we go. Coin flips. D6 rolls. D20 rolls. Look at all the random numbers here. We can clear it. And of course, when we X out it, the virtual it actually stops. So now you have a nice, clean looking jar file. And of course, you might in the future, I might uh I'll make a separate tutorial on either how to turn it into a dot app for Macs or a dot exe or executable for Windows users, but that won't be in this tutorial because this is just a short culmination of this um, series. And learning how to do something like that might be a bit more in depth and um, a general and not series specific. But there you are, your jar. You can give that to your friends or just put it where you want so you can use it you can distribute it via Mediafire or Adfly or Dropbox or Google Drive and there you go this has been Bralaborn this is the end of the Dice Roller Java series and I'll see you in the next series I hope